Four minutes late, Mr. Mark. Did you bring a note? <laughs> Stand help. Read aloud where we left off. Uh, Richard and I went across the road. Why should Stanhope care about John Updike? Who are you droids? Where's my class that you've kidnapped and replaced? We're so glad that you chose our little town. I didn't choose. But moving from New York to the country. You want to know why I moved out of the city? Interesting. Because I have no curiosity at all about your private lives. My name's Jack Marcus. Kids call me Mr. Mark. I say a five-syllable word that starts with A. You say a five-syllable word that starts with B. And we go on until someone is stumped. Antihistamine. Blah, 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 blah. Only four syllables. My point. In this class, we're interested in art. Don't trust the words. The words are lies. So, words are lies, and pictures are? Do I have to actually say it? Have you seen Del Santo's work? Why doesn't she just stay at home and paint? You think that cane is from a football injury? What happened to you, Jack? You are our literary star. What difference does my publishing make? It made it easier to forgive your faults. <laughs> Is my job in jeopardy? No, Santo, a man is worth more than his words, isn't he? And a woman more than her pictures. Maybe we're less than that. Maybe our work is the best of us. I hope not. Interdenominational. Is he insane? <laughs> it means he likes you, Dina. I do think you're a good man. I'm not, but I am a good teacher, and I'll fight for that with any means I have. They want to fire me. I'm sure they'll interview you. Just your impressions. I'm impressed by the fact that he's always challenging. Last night, I painted my first workable painting in six months, something I thought I might never do again. Come in, she said, suddenly smiling a broad, welcoming grin. I am going to walk over there and I am going to kiss you unless you speak a loud, resounding no.